Hello, Real Wreck-It Nation. Hope whatever time of the day this video finds you, whether it be morning, afternoon, or evening, I just hope you're blessed and doing well with the Lord. Today, I have a little project going on. It's called Strongman Kegs. Taking kegs and emptying them of their contents and putting heavy stuff in them so that we can train them and get strong. My good buddy Matthias gave me a couple of kegs that I could use from Northern Ohio. And as you can see, it has taken me a little bit of time to break through that little ring I have to pull out of the center so that I can empty its contents and put some sand and some concrete in there. Actually, quick drying cement. Stay tuned. Yep. I think I finally have the ring up and I'm able to pull it out. And, it, and then from some YouTube videos that I looked at, it says that if you just turn it until the holes line up, that you should be able to get the center. So we'll see. As you can hear, there's still a little bit in there. Anybody up for some old, disgusting, nasty beer? I'm not gonna lie, it has taken me quite a while. And as you can see, I have one more to do. You want some of this beer, Abigail? No, I'm good. Might be a little under-aged. And now, as you can see, I have two empty kegs. No two kegs open the same way. Oh, hello, Real wreck -It Nation. I'm so glad you decided to join me. This is day two of my project, loading up my kegs. Yesterday, you saw me get the guts, or the contents, out of the keg so that we could start this process. I turned my uh, keg upside down, both of them upside down, so that all of the beer and everything would drain out. And I went ahead and went to the do-it center and got three, uh, actually four bags of play sand, and three bags of quick creep, totaling 440 pounds of total contents that I can put in the keg. Keg by itself weighs about 30 pounds, and everything that I have here is 440 pounds, so I'm not going to be able to put all 440 pounds in both of these. But right now I have a bag of quick creep and a bag of play sand, which totals, what is that? 130 pounds, 130 pounds plus 30 is about 160 pounds and I'm using my old water jug as you can see I cut the bottom of it out so that I could use it as a funnel and believe it or not I love it when a good plane comes together because you as you can see you just put the scoop the dirt in and it falls right in there I'm gonna look in there. It just falls right down there. 
And I should probably go ahead and take this off the tailgate. It's going to get pretty heavy pretty quick. My daughter Lydia has decided to help fill the keg up. This is going to be one heavy keg. This is the third bag I put in. Two play stands and one concrete. So that's 160 pounds plus the keg, which is 30 to 40 pounds. So we're going to be close to 200 pounds after this bag of sand. What do you think, Lydia? Look how much sand is in here. Whoa. I'm guessing it to be about 210 pounds. Go ahead and get it on the scale. Here. In a way, it's 209 and a half pounds. So you'd round it to 210. You just saw me run with my new king, which we saw weighs 209.5 pounds, 209 and a half pounds. We'll round it to 210 pounds, if you'll let me. We've got another keg to fill. We have more sand, more concrete, more quickrete, or whatever you want to call it, cement, to make this heavier and maybe even make my 210 pound uh, keg heavier. But right now, I'm going to stick with that so I can work on my technique, I can work on my speed, work on my form, and getting it from one place to another. I'd, also, I'd actually like to get it to around 250, but 210 starting out is probably a good weight. Don't want to bite off more than I can chew. Remember, whatever your fitness goals are, don't let anything hold you back and pursue your relationship with God with reckless abandon. This is the real regular Ralph saying God bless, and I'll see you real soon, and Ralphie loves you.